You want to know how to make a Minecraft server with plugins, and we're going to show you how, starting off with downloading Paper. Paper is the Minecraft server software that allows you to add plugins to your server. In the description down below, there's a link to here, which is our in-depth text guide on getting Paper. But once you're here, go ahead and click on Download Paper MC to be taken to Paper's official download page, where you want to select Paper. On this page, you can see all of the uh, versions that are available, but we want to toggle experimental versions because we're looking for 1.20.6 here. Once you've found 1.20.6, go ahead and click the download button, and you may need to keep or save the file. Now, while this is downloading, I do want to mention that this is not a 24-hour server. It's only up and running while your computer's up and running. You're also going to be port forwarding and things like that, meaning you need to worry about network security. And also, anyone who joins this server can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates through your IP address. So with all that being said, if you want the easiest and simplest way possible to host a server where you don't have to worry about security or having a good computer to run the server or having good internet to run the server or anything like that, that's where our company Simple Game Hosting comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected paper Minecraft server where you can easily add plugins to the server and customize it any way that you want. Plus, if you have any questions about the server or anything like that after you set it up, our expert live chat support team is there to help you out and fix any issues that may occur. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, paper is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser, but what we want to do is minimize and create a new folder on our desktop titled Paper Minecraft Server. Then in this folder, we want to drag and drop that file we downloaded. Now, I know for me, it's going to be right here in my downloads folder, but for wherever it is for you, go grab it and then drag and drop it into this Paper Minecraft folder that you just created. Once it's in there, we actually want to rename it. But first, you want to make sure it says .jar at the end. If yours doesn't, come up here to View and make sure File Name Extensions is checked. Once you've done that, it will say .jar, and we can right-click and rename this file to simply Paper. Dot jar exactly like that. Then we want to create a new text document. Do that by right clicking and creating new text document and then you can just open up this text document. Then in the description down below there's this which is two gigabytes and four gigabytes and that's how much RAM you want your server to have. I'm going to go ahead and dedicate four gigabytes here so go ahead and select that and copy it from the description of this video and then come into this new text document and paste it right like so and as you can see we have four gigabytes dedicated there and it starts with Java and ends with pause exactly like this. Then click file save as and name this run.bat. So the file name is run.bat and the save type as is all files. Click save and now we have this new run.bat windows batch file here. Double click on that and your server's going to try to start but it's going to fail. And we'll see that happen here in a second and that's because we need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. There it is, failed to load EULA. You need to agree to the EULA in order to run your server. Press any key to continue, which we will now do. And now we have some files and folders here, and we want to open this EULA.txt file. Here you'll find the EULA equals setting. You want to change this from EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that, assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we do. Go ahead and click File, Save, and now we can double-click on the run.bat file, and your server will start. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, that actually wasn't that difficult at all, and it's not. To get to this point, it's super easy, but if you want your friends to join, you're going to need to port forward. That is assuming you could actually run these files, and if you couldn't, it's because you need to get Java. Specifically, Java 21 is required for Minecraft servers. So if you can't open the run.bat file, you're having issues there. Java 21 is what you need, and there's an in-depth guide in the description down below here that goes over how to get that. You may also need to run the jar fix. That's going to take the server jar file, the paper jar file, and link that back to Java, making it work together. But unless at this point your server is started, but for your friends to join, you're going to need to port forward. And in the description down below, there's a link to this. Which which is our in-depth guide on port forwarding. Of course, we've got a text guide, but a video guide as well that walks through everything you need to know to allow your friends to join your Minecraft server. This is the most difficult part, in my opinion, of getting a server up and running is the port forwarding part, but at this point, you can actually join your server. Before we do that, though, let's add a plugin. Right here we have a list of 15 Minecraft plugins. This is, of course, in the description down below. And we're going to go ahead and grab one of the more popular ones, World Edit. So we'll go ahead and go here and click to download. We can go to File, and we will see that there it is, World Edit 1.20.6. And we'll go ahead and download that. This is the same process for any plugin. You just want to make sure that you are downloading the 1.20.6 version of any plugins you get. 
We want to come over here and make sure we stop the server by topping stop right here in the console and hitting enter. It's going to make sure everything shuts down properly and saves. Then we can go to our downloads folder and there is world edit. How do you add this to your server? Well, just open this plugins folder and drag and drop world edit into it. It's that easy. Just add the plugins directly into the plugins folder, right? Like so. And now when we start this server, not only will we be able to join it in the plugin be active, we can actually test this without even joining the server. How can you do that? Well, just come over here into the console and type in plugins. Hit enter, and there it is. World edit is installed. Green means it's good to go. Red means it's not working, and yellow means uh, it's kind of broken. It's, it's there, it's recognized, it's kind of working, but not fully. But Minecraft is open, and how can you join this server? Well, we want to go to multiplayer here, click proceed, and then we'll go ahead and add this server. To do that, click add server. You can name this whatever you want. We'll name this the local connection because you're the only person that can join your server like this. Then we'll name the server address local host for that because, well, this is the local connection. Local host is the IP you'll use. Click done, and after a few seconds, there it is, local connection. We can double click, and we'll see us join over here on the left hand side right like so now you're the only person that can join the server this way your friends will need to use your public ip after you go through that port forwarding guide linked in the description however if we go ahead and come over here and op ourselves we will now be able to use the slash slash wand command and uh, be able to do anything we want with world edit like uh replace all of the uh, birch here with uh with diamond blocks let's do it There we go, there's the command, and watch this, hit enter, boom, there we go. We should have selected more, but now we have uh, diamond birch trees, except the leaves are going to decay. But anyway, there you have it. That's how you can add plugins to a Minecraft server. Set up paper, add the plugins, and you will need to port forward in order to join the server. So we're noting, you don't have to port forward or do any of this at Simple Game Hosting. All you've got to do is get the server and add plugins to it. Just drag and drop into your web browser. It's that easy to add plugins over there, and then you're good to go. So go check that out. First link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. And I will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.